What are some emerging trends in cybersecurity as well as the issues? Well, again, we want to look at the Ponymon study, and that directly mirrors a statement that the Department of Justice released in terms of cybersecurity attacks, especially in healthcare. Why is healthcare becoming more and more of a target? Well, A, the black market value of the data contained in the health files is greater than that contained just with credit card information and a social security number. There are a couple of reasons for that, but there are also different levels of liability with certain types of healthcare data, including some addict addiction issues, some mental health issues, and things like that, and rehabilitation. And because that is considered a high, higher level of scrutiny, so to speak, and I don't mean in terms of constitutional law, I mean in terms of the harm that can be inflicted if people got a hold of some of that information, there are additional requirements for protecting that type of data. So the black market value is approximately $50 and up for a healthcare record versus between a dollar and $10 for your other credit card information, which is pretty significant. And that's the reason for more external and criminal hackers. If you think about this as well, I received an excellent question while I was presenting at the Dallas Bar Association last year, and it had to do with a board of directors' ability to get an individual's health record if they're, say, the chairman of a company. And we can look at Steve Jobs, who had pancreatic cancer. If that news had released to the market because someone released it before Apple was ready to make that announcement, that could have had a significant adverse impact on their stock price, even greater than the initial downslide did. And so one way to combat that with any employee, if you are the board of directors or you want that internally, is that you can go to the Department of Labor and EEOC has a link on their website and there's a form that you can fill out to get authorization for gaining the medical records. There is a way to do that and for ADA purposes and so forth it might be necessary. So just to make everyone aware, it can be done, but the person that you want to give up their medical records from has to consent to it. So you can't just go and ask an entity for someone's health records without that HIPAA approval on that, as well as the Department of Labor's form, which is actually very comprehensive. Next, we want to look at encryption versions, and again, I addressed that earlier. Make sure it's AES 256-bit encryption at a minimum, and that's because SSL version 3 it has been deemed to be too vulnerable. Cybersecurity as a competitive advantage as well as a C-level priority. As we indicated, whether you are a privately held company or a publicly traded company, there are a lot of residual impacts from a cybersecurity breach in terms of reputation, in terms of stock price, in terms of the cost to upgrade the cyber information systems, and in terms of potential lawsuits by shareholders along those lines. More CIOs will brief boards on cybersecurity strategy. Again, this relates back to Sarbanes-Oxley, and we'll get into SOX in a little bit, but the two primary sections of SOX are 302 and 404. 